if people they talk and say some pastor called yourself some called yourself there not be any man of god na hunger poverty greediness na make the go open church some men these days they feel say the easier way to make money is through church some of them don't do different things you not get head then you go talk say what is the next thing to do i have a store or i have a hall or i have a space to do church why can't i just open church it be like saying at them money day now now make some people from nigeria become pastors don't get me wrong it's not all pastors that is fake but 95 percent of them they are fake they are thieves they are deceivers you will see woman will be widow she not get money she the strong go to survive to train her children maybe go get brother or sister for a bro with the send her money one pastor go do somewhere they deceive him collect everything with they give him you go carry and give the pastor and when I say that can person, na pastor, na man of God. And they tell us, they say, most of them, they are scanners. They can't thief people. They're the hustle, just like me and you, how they hustle for street every day to make a living. Now I make that some of them. Now what did they do with that? That's why they tell you, say, let pastors fight for themselves. Some people now, if you talk to their pastor, their member will come out, they'll be attacking you, fighting. Your pastor do this thing is wrong. Correct him. And I go say no. Na pastor, na man of God, na God call him. You did that way God call him. You know whether this man call himself. You know now because na because na hardship make this man open church. Because he don't open church, he don't call himself a pastor. You just believe him. Anything that come out for his mouth, you just believe him. No, you have your Bible in your hand. It's not everything your pastor said is true. Think. I don't know whether the pastor did they use on her head or on her brain. I don't know. Some people go carry their family house. I've seen a case like that. It was in Delta State. Their family house where she, him and his siblings, they live, and his papa, he carried the document of the house, saw a seed to church, and a pastor collected it for him. Pastor, we be say you get house. Now your family they stay. You want to make another family homeless. What kind of pastor is that? Just like this case now. When a friend of mine sent to me today, I said, look at. I said, I know. I know they have been doing it. I've seen a video like this. This is not the first time. But some people know the list, and that's why we keep on sharing this kind of video. There is fake pastor out there deceiving you guys. Make on a reset on our mind. Reset. Rethink. Be like a woman, but don't let one person come and wash you. You don't get money. The money where they pay you. For, for, for a month, we go take pay rent, buy food, pay school for your children. One person go say me, you take and source, you go take everything you have. Now say they source it. Then your children will come, they beg food. They will come, dad them for school. Your family will be the homeless. You say you cannot source it. Even the God we cannot source it for, no go they happy for you because your family are suffering. You pack everything where you get source it. Your family, they are side. And the pastor take it from you. And he, the first pastor will take it from you, get houses, get for everywhere. He not give you one from the stay. One pastor will get so many cars packed for a compound. It's not enough. He go see the fact from member. Because some pastors, some of these pastors believe, say, this person will they come at church. Oh, look at the kind of car will they use. I never use them. This person does not deserve to use this car. Now me as a pastor deserve to use the biggest car in this church. Then he go find a way to collect the car from you. Greed. Even when he get, it's greed. There's one video yesterday I was watching. There's one pastor is in, I think he's in the UK. This is a white government church. The guy was preaching a pastor. He said, have you ever seen Christian, uh, uh, um, Christian bank? 
He said you don't ever see Christian bank the way they see Muslim bank. Muslim, there's a Muslim bank for Muslim people. They borrow money to do business and it's interest free. You don't pay interest. You don't ever see any affair say he rich, the black with the wristwatch, the black with cars. After I go talk to don't they respect past, don't they respect Christians? It's this kind of behavior, this kind of character. That's why they only respect Christians. Christians is like nothing. If you say you are Christian these days, people will just laugh at you. But see Muslim, they are still strong and strong. They have a Muslim church where a Muslim person can borrow money for business without paying interest. Do we have anything like a Christian a church, a, a Christian bank, where you can borrow money with, and do your business without interest? Where are they? You never see any affair. They call the black for a cars, the black for wristwatch, the black for houses and private jet. You don't ever see them. But come today, you see pastors blagging for houses. Pastors saying I'm a billionaire. Pastors saying I'm rich. What do you do? Apart from being a pastor, what the other job are you doing? It's not in your members' money. The pay tight, the suicide offering. And you go see come out to the black for the same to, for the same members. How you get so many houses? How you get so many landings? How you get so many cows? And people in your church is suffering. You can't help them, but you the black with it. If I'm lying, research it. Research. Go to Google. Google it that you see pastors blagging for their property they have. How many times you don't see Muslim afar come out the black of what he has? They barely have money. They have for a living to stay. But they live normal. It's only pastors, Christian pastors that, that black for things. My people, make one shine on our eye. Now, this man say they put fear for a body. Because the man want to collect the car. He collect, okay, somebody can't take gold. A pastor. Somebody take a gold and sow seed and he collected it. And you people say all these material things is vanity upon vanity. And you are taking it from members. You put fear for this boy in mind now. He they use leg worker to go and pick his uncle at the airport. He not pick your uncle for airport because he not get car. He carry the car, don't get pastor. Now because of this uncle when he comes, so now he make a fist speak out. If not, the pastor don't put fear for your mind. If you're not fist speak out. So my point is that it doesn't matter that because you are going to church, you become a foolish person. I don't say don't respect your pastor. But use your sense, go to church, read your Bible. Open your eyes, shine your eye. Don't let anybody deceive you because you are a Christian. Don't let anybody deceive you, make you f uh, look that you are stupid because you are a Christian. You are not. Christians are not stupid. You know how to read your Bible, read it. Guys, let's start behaving very well. Everywhere you go, Christian, 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 pastor, pastor, pastor. Every day, every day, different news. Okay, look at this one now. It's a disgrace. I will allow you guys to watch this video now. If you never subscribed to Ada Universe TV, now here we will bring the latest and the breaking news. Please follow me, subscribe, and then don't forget to press the like button and the notification bell. So anytime when I put any program, you die among the first people you can't see them. I beg, make sure they follow me, they share my video. And if you watch this video of this pastor, if you get anything to say, please try and leave your comment for the comment station. And I beg, don't forget, follow me, share this video. To go a long way for people to open their eyes and see what is happening from another universe tv i go see you again for my next video one love god bless you guys bye bye according to reports on the 3rd of may 2022 the police swooped on the said fake prophet who is alleged to be a frost star masquerading at prophet benson nosakai who pray on gullible members of the public through the use of false prophecies and divine pronouncements Police say one of his victims, Mr. Samudi Ahmed Thompson, wrote a petition to the Edo State Commissioner of Police and complained that he was hypnotized by Prophet Benson Osakai of Power Grand Chapel Incorporated, situated at number 3 Uwa Street off Secondary Circular Road, Benezity. The victim further complained that Prophet Benson Osakai claimed that he saw him in a fiction where he had an accident with his Lexus ES350 car. He said the Prophet told him that for him to avert the accident, he should leave the car in the church for spiritual cleansing, adding that any attempt to drive the car henceforth will result to death from the accident. He subsequently left the car in the church. According to the victim, he said he later realized that the car he left behind was not changed from gold color to black color. He said the prophet 
also collected his gold bracelets worth millions of naira. Pastor, so I have to be a doctor. Ever since that time till now, he hasn't given us back the car. And some of people, some members of the church, were telling us that and he said, if who drops the car and come back again for the car, the person will die. That was the fear I was having in my mind that I could not speak up. Till my uncle came and asked me, come and pick me from the airport. I was like, ah, uncle, my car is not with me again. So you yeah, oh, my car is with me. So that was why we came to What kind of car? Lesos ES350 Salon. In an interview, the suspect, Benson Osakari, admitted to have collected the cars, but said the victim used it to sow seed in the church. What's your name, sir? Benson Osakari. Uh, you are a pastor? Yes, sir. Which church? Hogan Chapel. Where is it located? Second Secular, West Street. Okay, what happened that brought you to police headquarters in Bimini? Uh, one of the members who gave the car the seed yeah, was the one who came to report that. And uh, that I forcefully collected it from him, which was not true. So, what about the gold? The gold was given to me as a gift. Sir. As How many gold? There are two in number. He gave it to you as a gift. Yes, yes. How did you not come back to police to report? I'm so that's why I'm shocked. The following cars were recovered during a search on his apartment in Benin City. They include Lesos ES350 car and Lesos RS350 Jeep obtained from Odiga Gospower using same fake prophetic pronouncements and gold worth millions of naira. The commissioner of police Edo State CP Abutu Yaru, while commending the operators for their prompt response, said some prophets tend to instill fear into the people with doomsday prophetic pronouncements. C.P. Abutu Yaro, who spoke through the police relations officer, S.P. Belo Kontongs, said such fake prophecies are designed to fraudulently obtain money and other personal items from people whose problem will then be worsened rather than being solved. The police commissioner said such people will certainly have their time with the law as he directed the police investigative team to immediately charge the fake prophet to court for fraud and obtaining money by false pretense. The complainants, when he comes back to his senses, he now discovered that the pastor or the fake prophet have changed the color of the car and started using the car. From the equator